This is a story about origins, about how a single cell can sustain life through the delicate balance of creation and destruction. By unraveling the mysteries of the ubiquitin system within living cells, Technion scientists began a revolution in world science and medicine. The Technion's long tradition of being first began with the first cornerstone laying in 1912, 36 years before the birth of the State of Israel. It was the world's first Jewish university. In 1924, Technion became the first university in the Middle East. Albert Einstein became head of the first Technion Society. Technion educated Israel's first engineers. Technion put Israel in the skies with the first faculty of aerospace engineering. Technion graduates were the first to initiate the high-tech revolution. Technion students were the first to build and launch their own satellite. From Technion, Shechmanite, the first in a new class of materials. Technion's data compression standard brought the first live pictures from Mars. Technion was the first to cultivate embryonic stem cells. Technion, Israel's first pioneers of nanotechnology. But it was the first insights on ubiquitin and cellular life that brought Israel to the first league of scientific accomplishment, bringing Technion and Israel the world's highest honor, the Nobel Prize. It all happens in a single cell. The molecule ubiquitin is the gatekeeper of the cellular cycle of life. It earned its name because it is ubiquitous, found in every living cell, from yeast to bacteria, and even in the minds and bodies of Nobel Prize winners. Professors Avram Hershko and Aaron Chachanover, together with colleague Erwin Rose, were first to unravel the magic of ubiquitin, which deciphers when it is time for proteins to live and when to die. We are living in a hostile environment. You know, we are exposed to the ultraviolet irradiation of the sun. We are breathing air that is contaminated, polluted with different chemicals that are coming from the industry, from uh, air pollution coming from cars and so on and so forth. And all these materials, chemicals, are hazardous. They are chemicals that, that cause changes in our proteins. And these proteins that have been changed by these chemicals, they have been misfolded and they cannot function anymore. And we have to remove them. The molecule ubiquitin smartly seeks out proteins that are no longer useful. It attaches them with a label for destruction and escorts them to the cellular trash can, the protosome. If ubiquitin is underactive, the cell could become malignant. If it is overactive, then any of the many degenerative disorders could appear. It turned out to be very important, uh, not only to, uh, for uh, eliminating abnormal proteins, but mainly for uh, uh, biological regulation from cell division, differentiation, uh, brain function, uh, development, uh, immunological response, everything. And it has a lot of implications in disease, uh, in, in cancer, in uh, immune diseases, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's diseases. So the, the discovery that we made turned out to have huge implications in, in biomedicine. And it was recognized as such. The story of the Technion scientists is one that affirms the power of vision to transform tragic experience of destruction to life-saving works of creativity. Born in Hungary in 1937, Avram Hershko spent his early childhood in a ghetto and later in Austria. Arriving in Israel as a 12-year-old refugee, the young Hershko would begin a lifetime dedication to medical research. Aaron Chachanover was born in Haifa. In childhood, he tragically lost both his mother and father and was raised by his aunt and brother. He devoted himself to healing the wounds of others, first as a combat physician in the Israel Navy and later as a young researcher in the Rappaport Faculty of Medicine. It took some time, but slowly recognition came with the Israel Prize, the Wolf Prize, the Lasker Prize. Today, the applications of the discovery of the ubiquitin system are revolutionizing world medicine in areas ranging from cancer to neurological disorders to immunological diseases. Aaron Chekhanover, Avram Harsko, Aaron Chekhanover, Avram Harsko, and Irvin Rose. October 6, 2004. The original dream of Technion visionaries came to fruition. For the first time, Israeli scientists were named as the first choice of the Royal Committee for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. 
for the discovery of ubiquitin-mediated protein degradation. Professor Shehanover, Professor Hersko, and Professor Rose. On behalf of the Royal Academy of Sciences, I wish to convey to you our warmest congratulations, and I now ask you to step forward to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry from the hands of His Majesty the King. I would like to express our deep gratitude to the Nobel Foundation and to the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences for bestowing upon us this greatest honor and scientific recognition. These are the ambassadors of the original vision of the State of Israel. They had the courage to plunge to the depths of scientific inquiry, to uncover life-saving wisdom for the sake of all humanity. This is one moment that just shows me how much pride and strength uh, this work has given to us, both in Israel and all over the world. From mass media to lectures and scientific diplomacy, the Technion scientists are today seen as symbols of human excellence. Today, the pioneering spirit of innovation at the Technion is stronger than ever, promising to keep Israel first at the frontiers of future discovery for the benefit of all mankind. <laughs> <laughs>